they're taking the linebacks out of the game, they're doing really defensively, similar to what they did a week ago. Um, you know, and that's, you can do that in the game, you have to be able to then throw the ball and execute, which I think at times we did, we didn't do it consistently enough. And there was, you know, some, some chances for big plays with third downs that, that, that we didn't get, we didn't convert, we were trying to keep guys alive, but that was their game. Last second week in a row, you had some momentum plays that could have you know, gone your way and sort of changed the early interception when you had the ball and then I think you let play later in the game. Uh, what, what, in terms of the struggles of this team, is it just not not being experienced enough in those situations, or is it just you know Northwestern playing well in, in those two circumstances? I, I you can't prep that to experience. I don't know. You just you know, we got to to win games. You got to do those things. You know, you're ready for yeah. So there was a sudden change in the game, or a big play on special teams, or a turnover. You know, you get to, to get some momentum to keep you on. You know, you to so you need to go back and look at it, evaluate it, what the right reason is for it. Meyer Consulting Engineers. In the past five years, our organization has completed over 1,300 projects in the U.S. and abroad, including many structures at the University of Maryland. For structural engineering and materials testing and inspection, call Meyer Consulting Engineers. Coach, they held the ball for 11 more minutes on offense than you guys. How does that make it hard for you as a unit to do things consistently? least applicable statistics to the way reason there is a fall. If we convert more on third down, we end up having a ball a little more. If we got the gut off field, they're going to be a little less. We've won plenty of games, it was long side like that, it wasn't really matter though. Coach, their passing game seemed like they were getting a lot of stuff underneath. Uh, what was the, you know, was there something in particular that they were targeting? What, what was the, the difference there? Yeah, I mean, they were, they were running crossing routes, and those, those you know, they were rubbing guys off of their man and in zone, they were doing a good job finding the holes. I, I think, you know, they, we got to get some sort of pass rush. It just, all those routes take a long time to develop. So the quarterback has five seconds to stand back there, and I mean, he's going to find someone. We, we got to. You got to win, and win a one-on-one -on -one matchup or pressure in or with a four-man rush. Someone's got to win a one-on-one. -on -one. We need to keep it. DJ, I, I, know, I know that in, in terms of building home crowd, you know, home field advantage, I mean, this is still early in the process, but you feel as if, you know, the energy is not in this in this stadium enough for a team like this that maybe needs that kind of energy. That's, I thought there was good good excitement out there, and, and you know, it's hard to provide that. You know. So no, I don't feel that way. I mean, I think we're building some people understand that, and it will keep people around. Uh, DJ Moore obviously had a really big game. What? Is he able to do it and make himself so uh, effective? He's, he's been away pretty much every week. He does a good job. He's a very talented guy, plays hard. He uh, runs good routes and has, has good ball skills. So we do a lot to get him the ball and design it that way. And uh, he always he answers the call. He comes to play with him. Take two more, Doc. Yeah. Talk about the officiating, uh, but will you be talking to the Big Ten office this week about yes. a couple of calls? Absolutely. Absolutely. I mean, wow. Absolutely. Do you want to talk any more about it? I mean, anyone that watched the game, no, I mean, there's nothing more to say. I, I, I mean, it's nothing more to say. Anyone that watched that game, wow. DJ, there's reports today about Kevin Anderson just swirling around in his absence the last couple of weeks. Has that affected you guys at all, or did that affect you today? Did you have a reaction to that?